I'm going to show you how after any knot you tie, how to double, double your uh, line strength by um, snelling the tag end around the hook. So with the tag end, after you've tied the knot, instead of cutting it off, um, get the flat part of the hook, which is the back part, usually where the bait goes, right here. Um, let's see if I can get that. Right there. The flat part, I've snelled that with the tag end. After you've wrapped it around there a couple times, grab that tag end and pass it back through the eye of the hook, the lure. And that, not only does it make your hook stronger by, you know, having that extra support by the line, but whenever your knot breaks, you've still got the tag end on there connected to the lure, connected to the fish. So if your knot breaks, it doesn't matter. It's like having two knots on the same lure. The only way the fish could get off is if you break the line somewhere other than where the bait is. You break it up here, say. Then you're fucked. But if you break it anywhere on here, you're just an idiot because you don't know how to tie your knot or the snell. But right here, <clears throat> you can see what I've done. And it's a masterpiece, honestly. It's one of the best I've done. And the harder you pull, the stronger your knot gets, honestly, because it's underwater. It won't burn. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is the best it can get. You know, do a Palomar or a uni knot, and then pretty much just snell it around the hook. And you've pretty much got two knots on the same lure. So, you're, if your knot breaks anywhere on your line, it's because you have shitty line. You know? That is the perfect way to guarantee a perfect hook set, catch, and land. Honestly, you could pull a tree with to you. I mean, that is the best way. Peace out. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Tips for catching fish, motherfucker. That's it.